It's a pleasure for me to talk about Lucille Ball because I always looked up to her. I thought of her as my big sister, but when I first saw her on the screen, I remember I didn't like her at all. Kindly clear the way, please. Do you let me go through or do I start slugging? I was nine years old and the film was called The Big Street and Lucy played this mean, heartless showgirl. You got a job. What kind of a job? As what? A banker, maybe? Not a broker. How about maybe president? Go on, tell me. A busboy. A busboy. Cleaning tables, filling glasses, making with the butter. And you'll make it up to me. Looking back on that, and I've seen the film since, it's, I think it's my favorite Lucy film, which is strange for me to say because she's not funny. But I think the movie really shows that Lucy's talent as a comedian was based on the fact that she was a wonderful actress. She could do it all. Washington Contact Limited. Is that you? Huh? We fulfill a very useful function. Contacts knows the ropes, knows the people, knows the places. Whom to see, where to go for it, and how to swing it. It provides backgrounds, foregrounds, and middle grounds, chiefly middle. It's a master of the art of collaboration and compromise. But it isn't doing very well. I remember seeing Lucy in Dewberry Was a Lady with her red technicolor hair and thinking how beautiful she was. Whether Lucy's hair color was natural or not, she was a true redhead. So! The original redhead. Oh, my Gladys, this is a surprise. I'll bet it is. I'm sorry to bust up your little party, Miss Connie Ellenberry, but that man happens to be my husband. I admired Lucy because despite her truly beautiful looks and being a woman, follow me. she managed to also be comedic. Hey, wait a minute. You follow me. Please? That wasn't easy because in Hollywood, all the top comics were men. So Lucy usually played the second banana to guys like Bob Hope or Red Skelton, and she never got as much to do as they did. But she could toss a line back with the best of them. Oh, and tonight, I'd like to present the winner of the Claire Booth Luce Award for America's Cutest Playwright. Will you please say a few words, Mrs. Valentine? Take off. Oh. The funny thing is, Lucy never really became a big movie star. The studios just didn't know what to do with her. But she never showed any bitterness. Instead, she considered Hollywood a great learning experience. Let us down the sweet draft of Bacchus. What's that? That's Shakespeare for bottoms up. All right, all right. I met Lucy when she came to see me in the Broadway musical Once Upon a Mattress back in May of 1959. There was this big buzz backstage and I made the mistake of peeking through the curtain and there I saw her, Lucy, in the second row. The red hair all lit up and I don't know how I got through the show. There was the queen sitting there, the empress of comedy, in the front row watching me. The beautiful bear. Carol, plus two. A few years later, I called Lucy and she said, What's up, kid? She always called me kid. And I said, Well, Lucy, I'm doing this special for CBS, and I wonder, and she said, When do you want me? She didn't even let me finish the sentence. That was the first time we did a show together, and oh, we had the best time doing it. Hutzpah, hutzpah, to the top with hutzpah, Evelyn and Emily, hooray! Oh, it's a little bit of brain and a teeny bit of talent, and hutzpah, hutzpah, to the top with hutzpah, we're on our way! I learned from that show that Lucy wasn't one of those comedians who had to be the center of attention. I also learned that when the camera wasn't rolling, Lucy was all business. She would say what she liked, and you'd know she meant it. And then she would say what she didn't like, and you'd know it wasn't personal. Nobody ever worked harder than she did. You said, turn right here, and I turn right. You didn't let me finish. I was trying to tell you to turn left. What I was trying to say is you turn right here left. Over the years, Lucy and I were very close. We talked on the phone. She always sent flowers on my birthday. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't think of her because I miss her. And isn't it a blessing for all of us that she went on to become such a big star after her days in the movies? I guess maybe Lucy had the last laugh. For Turner Classic Movies, I'm Carol Burnett.
Newlyweds Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz are breezing along with the breeze, but can't pull their new home along with ease in the long, long trailer. Saturday at 4 p.m., only on Turner Classic Movies.